on this show. He called him America's Hitler, cultural heroine. He can't attack anyone for changing their positions on anything because he changed his view on the most fundamental basic thing in American political and civic life. Right. You just can't. You cannot tie him down. And that is what's frightening is the, can the other candidates we're talking about on the Democratic side have a lifetime of positions. They are who they always were. And with J.D. Vance, you don't have that. I'm telling you, just from 2016 to now, the number of gyrations Ohio saw, it's, it's hard to understand. That's why I said earlier, he really shouldn't have been elected. He doesn't fit with what Ohio thinks. I'm glad to hear that others think Ohio could be in play. I think it's in addition to getting all the cities out, you're also going to need the Trump vote to not be as rabid to show up, which you already are getting a sense. I get a lot of feedback from our readers, and it's kind of hollow, the, the messages I get about Trump now. It's not the same fervor. It's almost like they thought they were going to win, and now they're pretty sure they're going to lose, and they don't know what to make of it. And so they might stay home. They may not have the enthusiasm that the other side has. Yeah, you realize in the last three weeks that electability was sort of all, all that he had. He didn't have.